In January, Zimbabwe Football Association we President Philip Chiangwa lifted all bans handed down for the Asia Gate scandal. His mercy may have been aimed at closing the chapter on one of Zimbabwean football's darkest hours. But just two months later, he's been betrayed, and by one of his own. Edzai Kasinawio is one of the board members elected alongside Chiangwa in December polls. He's at the center of a match-fixing ring that's implicated a former Zifa CEO, national team coach, and a number of foreign-based players. They are accused of conniving to influence the outcome of matches involving the Zimbabwe national team and clubs in South Africa's Premier League. The suspended Kasinawio says he's done nothing wrong. I deny any involvement in any unlawful activities. But the FA says its evidence is overwhelming. We also have recordings, uh, that um, audio recordings. We have a lot of photographs. Uh, some of these meetings were in hotels, uh, unknown to the participants, the CCTV recordings, which tell us of people visiting the, 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 the hotels on, on those particular dates. There are email exchanges, uh, WhatsApp messages, text messages. I think there's just too much in my view. I've seen, I've seen criminal cases uh, being successfully prosecuted on much less evidence. South Africa's FA has charged eight players and officials based on the findings. Zimbabwean officials will soon begin disciplinary proceedings. Well, this being the second high-profile match-fixing scandal to rock Zimbabwean football in recent years is an indication of how hard the people in there have to work to clean up the local game. The situation is made worse by the absence of specific laws against match-fixing. That means, at worst, the perpetrators could walk away with just association-imposed sanctions. But the FA's legal team is working with the police to press bribery, corruption and conspiracy to commit fraud charges. For now, there's one positive that's emerged from the controversy. Zimbabwe right now, compared to the other countries in the region, or probably in Africa, uh, I think it's in a very good position to detect these things and fight match fixing because I think the country's name has been badly tainted in the past few years because of the Asia Gate match fixing scandal. And a lot of people who were said to have been involved, I think they are worried of dragging their name back into similar acts because they know of the consequences. So I think it's very good if, if there is a game that is going to be played, which is going to be pure, in any game that has been played, I think the Zimbabwe versus Swaziland game is going to be played on level terms. Zimbabwe plays Swaziland in an AFCON 2017 qualifier in Harare next weekend. It's one of the games the match fixers had targeted. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.